Well, we're continuing with elections. Today, the special runoff election for Chicago mayor, where voters are choosing between two Democrats from different ends of the political spectrum, Brandon Johnson, organizer with the Chicago Teachers Union, and Paul Vallis, the former head of Chicago Public Schools, who's endorsed by the Chicago Police Union. Chicago is the third largest city in the United States, and today's runoff mayor election has drawn national attention. Juan, you're in Chicago. You've had these mayoral forum that you have been presiding over. Talk about the significance of this day. Well, Amy, I'm still getting accustomed and learning the intricacies of uh, local Chicago politics, but clearly this race uh, has the national implications as well. It raises the question of can a uh, progressive multiracial coalition capture the mayoralty in, uh, the, in the nation's third largest city, uh, as Harold Washington did so 40 years ago, back in 1983? Uh, and the issues between the two so supposed Democratic candidates are clear. Uh, they're, they're, Vallis is a centrist who, whose main focus throughout the campaign has been crime, crime, and crime. Uh, and he's back, increasing uh, and backing the police department, increasing the number of police. Uh, he does, has not placed as much emphasis, however, on another aspect of his uh, his long-term policies, which have been the further privatization of public schools and the creation of more charter schools. Uh, and he's received major backing from the police unions and wealthy developers, real estate developers in the city. Uh, on the other hand, uh, Brandon Johnson is a progressive who backs, uh, backs police reform, uh, uh, alternatives uh, to policing, uh, supports and defends, obviously, public education and taxing the rich. But the polls uh, so far are showing there was just one by Northwestern University a week ago, a very close race. Uh, about 44 percent of uh, voters are appear to be backing uh, Brandon Johnson, 44 percent Vallis, with about 12 percent uh, undecided. Uh, so what's going to be critical today is going to be obviously one turnout. Uh, because uh, the undecideds will uh, will have a big impact, but the question is who turns out to vote, uh, and uh, also what happens among uh, Latino voters. And I think this has not gotten uh, quite as much attention. When Harold Washington ran back in 1983, he got a, a big majority of the Latino vote, but back then there were only uh, Latinos only represented about 16 percent of the city's population. Today they represent 29 percent of the city's population, uh, uh, almost double what it uh, 40 years ago. And, uh, and Johnson has, uh, 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 is not faring well uh, so far, according to the polls. We don't know for sure, because the polls are often wrong. Uh, but according to these polls, Vallis has considerable support among Latinos, about 46 percent to 35 percent. He's, he's got just uh, uh, about 41, 51 percent of the um, of, of support among white voters, uh, and uh, and J Brandon Johnson has a healthy majority among African American voters, but not the overwhelming number that uh, that Harold Washington had uh, 40 years ago. One of the thing big things that's happened is many of the made uh, many of the mayoral candidates, African American mayoral candidates, in the first round. Have, are backing Vallis, Sophia King, Jamal Green, Edward Sawyer, Willie Wilson. They all ran for mayor in the first round, and they've all come out to back Vallis. In fact, the only candidate who ran for uh, for mayor in the Latino community, Jesus Chuy Garcia, is the only one of the candidates who is backing Brandon Johnson. Uh, so. Uh, it remains to be seen what happens in the Latino community. Unfortunately, I think uh, Johnson has made a big mistake in not highlighting uh, the support of Chuy Garcia. And what's happened is, according to the polls, about a third of Latino voters actually believe that Vallis is a Latino. Uh, uh, he's a, actually a uh, descendant from Greek uh, Greek American uh, immigrants and. Uh, uh, and so the reality is that there's confusion in the Latino community. There has not been enough outreach uh, from the Johnson campaign. So it remains to be seen how the turnout will uh, will um, will develop throughout the rest of the day, and we'll see what happens. And this is Randy Weingarten, the president of the American Federation of Teachers. I watched Paul Vallis ruin the New Orleans school system.
system. I watch Paul Vallis fire black teachers in New Orleans. I watch Paul Vallis divide and divide and tear that community apart and tear the Philadelphia community apart. I watched him do it. And could there be any better indicator of where Paul Vallis stands than for Betsy DeVos is hack? I don't care what he says. For Betsy DeVos and her pack to come in and support Paul Vallis tells you everything you need to know about him. Brandy the Weingarten is head of AFT. Arnie Duncan, the former education secretary under Obama, and Senator Dick Durbin supported Vallis. At the same time, you have Senators Warren and Bernie Sanders, right, Juan, coming out for— For, for Brandon Johnson. Brandon. Yes, absolutely. This is really a classic uh, battle within the Democratic Party between progressives uh, and, uh, and the more conservative and centrist forces uh, in the party. But we'll see now who is actually being able to reach uh, the masses of the voters and turn them out uh, into in today's election.